Hey guys, Save Me With Shay. I am here at Walmart. I'm here so late, you guys. It's like almost 3 o'clock. I need 18 rebates for $5. So I was trying to put together a list last night. And I was having the hardest of times, you guys. So if I have to rely on a couple Walmart gift cards to kind of get me over the finish line, that's what your girl's going to do. Like, I had to get two in my last haul. Um, they do count towards the bonuses, for those of you who did not know. And I mentioned that it was awesome. When the gift cards were $5, you guys. Your girl sometimes didn't even have to leave. Well, I would still do haul videos, but generally speaking, you wouldn't really have to leave your house if you didn't want to. Um, you could just get a bunch of $5 Walmart gift cards and they would count. You know what I mean? Or let's, let's say you were at home and something came up and you just could not make it back to the store to get like two or three more rebates. You could get a gift card. It would be fine. But um, yeah, now the minimum is 20, which is still fine. And so if I have to get a couple today, then I will. So I did do a couple deals at CVS earlier. I went and did Old Spice again. I did cat food because I told you guys in my what I spent video that your girl wants to start feeding these stray cats because I don't know. There's so many stray, so many stray cats. <laughs> And they're always at CVS in the bushes and stuff. And so um, I did a, a cat food deal for that. Um, but I'm hoping I can knock this out here. I'm going to do, um, hopefully, price match some CoverGirl pencils. Um, use the $4 uh, coupons from inserts. There's also IPs as well. Since I just ordered some more um, to kind of help lower the out-of-pocket. So that's kind of what the goal is as well. Other than that, um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Support your girl. And don't forget to ring the notification bells and if it's out of videos, without further ado, let's head over to Walmart and see what kind of awesome deals we can grab today. All right, so this first deal is on the Coca-Cola Ultimate. It's priced at $2.08. You want to grab two of them. You end up paying $4.16, getting back $2 on swag bucks, and then $0.52 cents times two on checkout 51, making them only $0.56. Cents. Next up is the Mountain Dew. It's priced at $2.28. You want to grab one of them and get back $1.14 from Ibotta, making it only $1.14. All right, so my next deal is on the Mentos. Please excuse us how you're breathing in the background. He's knocked out. Um, $1.36. We're going to grab two of them. One to pan. $2.72 out of pocket. We're going to get back $0.50 cents on Ibotta, $1 on Swag Bucks, and then 200 kicks which is 80 cents on Shopkick, making them only 21 cents each. All right, guys, really, really quick. So I did announce a giveaway in my Target video of some CoverGirl coupons, since a lot of you guys said you don't get them in your region. And so I'm going to be doing four winners of six coupons each. Um, now, they do expire on Saturday, so hopefully your store does take expired coupons. Um, because it is going to be a $10 moneymaker, you guys. And so it's going to be a deal you definitely do not want to pass up. You know, I'm going to do it across the board. I'm just saying. And so um, I'm going to pop up the four winners. You guys reach out to me. Um, my email address is going to be in the description or in this video somewhere. It's savingwithshay at outlook.com. And then I'll get you those um, IPs um, ASAP so that you can be ready Sunday morning. All right, and back to the deal. So this next deal is on the Ocean Spray Immunity. It's priced at $3.44. Now, I did do this deal at Target, and then it popped up on Ibotta, submitted my receipt, got back $6, and decided to do it here at Walmart as well. So you're grabbing, I'm grabbing four of them. I wound up paying $13.76 out of pocket. I'm getting back $6 on Ibotta, and then $0.96 cents times four on Checkout 51. And then last but not least, $8 on Swag Bucks, making all four free plus a $4.08 moneymaker. All right. I know y'all probably, I know y'all probably tired of me buying these damn lollipops, but the kicks keep going up. So your girl's going to keep getting them. So we're going to grab a bag. Um, they're priced at $3.13. Going to get back 800 kicks on Shopkick, which is $3.20, um, making it a $0.07 cent moneymaker, which is awesome. You might still have rebates on Ibotta. I don't. And then I'm also going to be grabbing the red bag. Now, it says $3.13, but they're actually $2.94. And again, we're getting back 800 kicks on Shopkick, you guys, which is $3.20, making this bag a $0.26 cent moneymaker. So both of them are absolutely free plus moneymaker. Cannot pass it up. All right, so this next deal is on the gluten-free aisle. It's on the beef-free bread. Um, it is a gluten-free bread priced at $5.98. Now, this offer actually showed up in my Instagram feed last night, so I wanted to add it to the list. I'll have a link for you guys in my description. So you're going to pay the $5.98. You'll get that back. It's either going to be via PayPal or Venmo. 
and it actually processed pretty quick. Okay, so my next deal is on the Eric Warmers on the double pack. Now, I was really surprised to see this reset for me on Ibotta. They are priced at $3.97, so you want to grab one of them. You get back $4 on Ibotta. You're also going to get back a rebate on Shop Me Up for $2.09, making this a $2.12 moneymaker. On top of that, guys, the limit is $3, so you know your girl got to max it out. All right, guys, so the next few deals are going to be on the Friskies. The first one's on the Little Gravies, which are priced at $1.28. For this, you want to go ahead and grab two of them. You'll pay $2.56 out of pocket. You'll get back $1.34 on Ibotta, bringing that down to $0.61 cents each. There's also one on the Shakes as well, which are priced at $1.34. You're going to grab two of them. You'll pay $2.68 out of pocket. And then Ibotta is going to give you back $1.34 for that as well, bringing that down to $0.67. Cents. And then last but not least, we have the Frisky Soups priced at, again, $1.34. Um, you're going to grab two for $2.68, getting back $1.34 on Ibotta. Plus a bonus for buying three is going to bring this one down to only 34 cents for two or 17 cents each. All right. So next up is the Ubi Kotex. It is priced at 330 for either the 50 count or the 40 count. Now I do have an offer on Fetch Award that is spin. I think it was spin 30, get back 350. This is the last box that I need. So I'm going to grab one, getting back $2 on Ibotta and then 350 on Fetch Award, making this a $2.20 moneymaker. All right, so next up is the Dollar Shave Club. And yes, it's behind glass. <laughs> it's on the razor. It's priced at $8.97. I'm going to grab one of them. Now, we do have $3.50 coupons from our inserts that I'm going to use. They scan perfectly fine. And then I'm also going to grab the refills as well. Now, I do have an offer on Fetch Reward. And I think it's a Spin 35, Get Back 7. And um, I think I was like $18 from hitting that and so i'm going to grab the refills price at 9.97 again using a three dollar and fifty cent coupon from our inserts i'll end up paying 11.94 getting back um 450 kicks which is a dollar 80 times two on shop kick and then at seven dollars on fetch making them only 67 cents each all right so the axe um, body wash is priced at six dollars and 27 cents um for this i'm going to be using a two dollar tear pack coupon i got from cvs mines do expire on the 30th of this month I ended up paying $4.27 out of pocket, getting back $3 on Ibotta. I did have offers on Shopkick, but they're gone. So it's going to make this $1.27. All right. And so this next deal is on the Axe um, Stick. It's priced at $6.27. You're going to grab one. Now, I did use a $2 coupon from our insert that did not scan, but the cashier was awesome and she pushed it through for me. So you end up paying $4.27 out of pocket, getting back $3 on Ibotta bringing that down to $127. Now I went ahead and grabbed the um, Sprite as well since I had over from CoverGirl. So I grabbed that price. <laughs> Out of that, I grabbed that price at $8.38. I used a two dollar tear pack coupon. I ended up paying $6.38 out of pocket. And then I got back $4 on Ibotta, making that $2.38. But it made it free with the over from CoverGirl. Okay, so I totally forgot to record this in store. It's on these little trash bags. They're located where they um, have the little trash cans. I forget who I saw post this, but they're priced at $2.78. You're going to get back $8 on Ibotta, making them only $8.78. I figured since I was going to have overage from the cover girl, why not? All right, here's another deal I figured, why not? It's on the doof wipes. These are in the trowel section. They're priced at $2.12. And I bought us giving you back a dollar, making them only a dollar and 12 cents. All right. And last but not least, you guys is on the cover girl. Now I'm only doing this because I need the over to help lure my out of pocket. And so, as you guys know, I always price match either soft blonde or black. So they didn't have any soft blonde. So I grabbed some of the blacks. They're priced at $2.28 online. I used the printable coupon. I did some with the cashier. I did some in self-checkout, um, which gave me $1.72 of overage, which really, really helped lower my out of pocket. All right, guys. So here is our complete haul for you guys for today. This worked out really, really good. Um, I was able to price match a total of eight of the cover girls. So I got about a dollar and like 78 cents of overage for each one. I did four on one transaction. And then I was at a different store and they just said I could just get one. So I got the one and then I went back to cosmetics and I got all three <laughs> and that paid for the trash bags. Um, so that was awesome on that. The coupon for the axe, the stick, that tear pack coupon doesn't work with that, nor does the insert coupon. Um, but the cashier was super awesome and she manually put that in for me. But originally I did that 
um, all three items are actually, I think I had just grabbed the body wash and the stick and cosmetic coupons and scan. So I had them voided off and I went up front and, um, I grabbed a couple other scents of the deodorant to see if a different scent would work. Nothing worked. Um, the cashier ended up just voiding the ax off altogether and she rung it up on a separate transaction. Um, but when I submitted my receipts for Fetch Reward, because I think it's a spin 15 get back two or something like that. And so I submitted my receipt to Fetch Reward and one of the receipts I ended up getting back like 17 bucks. And the other one I had to have corrected because I think I had one for you by Kotex and I think I needed like $2 more to spend to get back 350. And I had one for the Dollar Shave Club that was a spend as well. And I needed to spend 18 more dollars, which is why I grabbed the two that I grabbed. And so I had to have that receipt um, corrected as well. So I'm waiting for that one to, to process. Um, other than that, my receipt's really quick. Let me see if I can show you super, super fast. Um, this one was back in cosmetics. The Ucotex. I had the Axe deodorant and the Axe body wash and the Dollar Shave Club. And I had them void them off because it didn't work. And there goes the cover girl for all our coupons. Price matched them all. Got overage with that one. So then I went up front and um, I did this one right here with the rest of my stuff. And the coupon still didn't work. So the cashier voided the um, axe off and rang it up by itself, which is right here. All right. Um, and she ended up just manually putting in the coupon for me, which is awesome. This is the other receipt. I went ahead and grabbed the body wash because I knew I was going to have overage from CoverGirl. So I grabbed the Axe body wash and the Dude Wipes on this transaction. Um, they only let me get one of the CoverGirl. But um, I went ahead and ran back to, cos <laughs> to um, Cosmetics and had them um, ring me up right here. Which we did the Hefty Bags and three of the CoverGirl. We got a ton of overage. So total was only 40 cents. So all of that CoverGirl overage paid for the two bags. And that's why I took them off of this transaction. And then here's the Ocean Spray and the Coke and that sourdough bread. And then CVS, we did the um, Dove. And then we got $1.50 printables. And it got back, I think, three. I could have submit that receipt on Ibotta because um, the, these don't qualify. So it made them like 97 cents each, which is still not bad. It's not what I wanted, but it's not bad. And then this receipt was the Old Spice. I went ahead and grabbed the Bayer again. And then the Sheba. For coupons, I did use a dollar coupon off the Bayer. I showed you guys that like last week. Um, Four dollar coupon on the Sheba. And three off of two CRT on the um, Old Spice. Um, so that worked out to be a pretty good deal as well. And so that's all my receipts. So with that being said, everything you see here retails $160.18. I had $57 in coupons, which obviously most of that was CoverGirl. And I did use the IPs, you guys. And I went to, I did a couple transactions in cosmetics. And I did go to um, self-checkout and those coupons scanned. I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure they was going to scan. But they did. Um, Shopkick was $10.80. Now, one of my receipts, the receipt with the candy on it, um, was rejected. So I had to put a ticket in for that. Swagbucks was $11.00. Um, Fetch Reward, it should have been $11 total, but I actually got back 17 I think it was just with all the all the voids of the acts, I ended up getting back 17 And I actually am waiting for one receipt to be reviewed. And it was for the Ucotex and the Dollar Shave Club. Um, what else? And then aisles for the uh, Be Free Bread was $5.98. That one, I got that back in like five minutes. Like literally, it didn't take long for it to get approved. Shop me a miss 209 for one of the air wicks and extra care bucks was $11. So it makes everything you see here free plus $14 and 20 cents, which is awesome. Now, if you want to deduct the extra care bucks and say it's a $3 and 20 cent moneymaker plus $11 in extra care bucks, we can do that too. <laughs> um, tax was $7.45. And so, yeah, this worked out to be a really, really awesome little haul. Other than that, you guys, I'll leave it there. You guys have the most amazing day night whenever you're watching and wherever you're watching from. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.